in Southeast Asia. In addition to the Liu Ba Tu tanks in service with Indonesia and Singapore, another notable name is the PT-91M Pentacar. According to Malaysia military power, PT-91M Pentacar is the most modern main battle tank of the Malaysian army today and was once the king of tanks in Southeast Asia until the arrival of Liu Ba Chu of Singapore and Indonesia. However, in terms of overall strength, PT-91M is still a formidable opponent on the battlefield. The PT-91M main battle tank is a modernized and export variant exclusively from Malaysia based on the Polish PT-91 Gorty tank family. The PT-91, on the other hand, is an improved version of the former Soviet T-72M1 model. However, the PT-91 still has its own characteristics compared to the T-72 variants in some other Eastern European countries. The first public presentation of PT-91M took place on August 31, 2005 in Kuala Lumpur during the big parade on Malaysia Independence Day. Similar to the original version, PT-91M has a weight of about 48.5 tons, length is 6.86 meters, width is 3.7 meters, and height is 2.6 meters. The PT-91M is slightly different from tanks, which are being used by the Polish Army. The tank is powered by new, developed in PZL Wola, together with German rain power pack, consists of engine S1000R with 1000 horsepower and SESM rank ESM350M driving system. Tank is equipped with Slovakian company Constructor Defense 2A46MS cannon with electronic stabilization system from EADS and with new mechanism of rising cannon and turret rotation. Also, front and turret armor plate configuration has been changed. PT-91M is equipped also with Sakem 7 12 fire control systems with Peronomic Commander Surveillance Device VIGY-15. Also, armor has been changed by strengthening it. The tank has been equipped also in Universal Self-Defense System SSP-1 Opera 3 from Industrial Optical Center which cooperates with two sort of 81mm smoke relay launcher 902A. Tank's cannon are compiled with 7.62mm machine gun from Belgian FN Hurter. This company delivers also 12.7mm large bore machine gun M2HBQCB operated by Commander and installed on the turret. In the tank, also many construction changes were implemented. For the first time in the T-72 family tanks, steering wheel instead drag link was installed. Tank is also equipped with air condition system Martin WMD protection and pollution detection system were installed. Also, battlefield control system and LNS navigation and GPS systems were installed.
The crew of the BT-91M consists of three soldiers, including the driver, gunner, and commander. Thanks to the automatic loader system, this also allows the BT-91M to have a faster rate of fire than some other tanks. It can fire with a rate of fire of 8 to 10 rounds per minute, with 40 shells available on the vehicle. The number of BT-91M in the Malaysian Army's payroll is quite modest, only 48 units. All of these tanks were handed over by Poland in the period 2007 to 2009. In general, the opportunity for the BT-91M to demonstrate its capabilities on the battlefield is not high in the context of current security situation in the region and conflicts of interest between countries mainly taking place at sea. Therefore, an all-out war with the participation of tanks in Southeast Asia would be unlikely, and if it did, it would not be in Malaysia. With its features, PT-91M Pentacar is still considered a dangerous tank, meets the requirements of modern warfare, and is one of the most modern tanks in Southeast Asia today. My video about the PT-91 Pentacar answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.